Good afternoon, everyone. World focusing on volcanoes, Mount Merapi throwing ash 70,000 feet into the air. New article, Washington Examiner, iceberg nursery failing in Alaska. Let's take a look. Record breaking year, 481 icebergs last year, 2017. Wait, 565 right now in Labrador and Newfoundland? Taking a look at today's iceberg count. Remember, the iceberg season has been delayed by up to three weeks, possibly a month, due to abnormally cold conditions. Best time was May through early June. We're going to push that back to late May, mid-June. Overhead shot, visible ice. Iceberg alley, starting heavy. Speaking of icebergs, Cape Town wants to drag an iceberg from Antarctica to try to refill its water supply. And this video is brought to you by Hemp Lucid CBD oil for your mind, body, and spirit. If you hadn't seen the news about the eruption of Mount Merapi in Indonesia, some rock climbers were up there camping and this volcano just suddenly awoke. Ended up spewing ash 70,000 feet into the atmosphere. And you know what's happening at Kilauea and there are so many other volcanoes going off at the moment. So I want to bring you up to the Arctic. We are going to balance the heat with the cold. Washington Examiner new article, Alaska's iceberg nursery is failing. And in the first paragraph, it says, warming temperatures have made it harder to churn out sea ice year after year, says the federal government. I said, oh, okay, let's look over in the East Coast, Canada, Greenland, and Hudson Bay, which I just did a video on, abnormally high ice concentrations for this time of the year. They should be melting at around, oh, 30% of the ice coverage in Hudson Bay. They're still at 100%. So where you see red here is still 100% ice coverage. It shouldn't be this high. This is absolutely an anomaly. But then I want to show the trend here because in 2017, heavy ice off the seacoast, again, we saw the same thing delaying vessels, vessels trapped, global warming expeditions couldn't make it through the ice to go do their research. How apropos for that one. So staying back in 2017, the North Atlantic Ice Service reported 481 icebergs off the coast, a record. For that time of the year, average for the entire area is usually 83. Now I do want to talk about 48 degrees north and one by one, which is one degree by one degree square plots here. But then when we look at the iceberg forecast seven days for May 9th, highlighted in a blue, 565. So this is well above last year's total as well. Interestingly though, this iceberg season is getting off to a much later start due to abnormally cold conditions around where these icebergs originate from. And the thickness of the sea ice in the Arctic as well, abnormal for this time of the year. Now usually when you go to Iceberg Alley for the viewing of these, you go in May through early June, but since the onset of this year's iceberg season is at least three weeks late, you're going to have to push this to late May, starting probably next week and then rolling through the last weeks of June. So again, I want to show you the progression where it was in 2017 in April. But look where we are just today, May 14th. That has not even pushed south yet. That is so far behind again. The ice melting, thicker ice, Hudson Bay, that whole area, Newfoundland, Baffin Island. They had the ice bridges up there, which were pushing back ice and weren't allowed to flow through. Normally, they call it an ice arc. Zoom in there so you can see it again. Now that one by one is exactly what this reference is. It's one degree latitude by one degree latitude square on the grid here. Now the previous high astonishing record was 65 in a one degree by one degree grid. But when I'm looking around Newfoundland and in North there, I see some at 36, 38, 26. And then there's an enormous amount of icebergs up there at the moment. Why is nobody talking about this? It's all global warming, global warming. Now I wanna come back to the latitude here as since the iceberg season has started later, 
the trajectory and the push of these icebergs more further south into the southerly latitudes is going to be starting and look for it right now. It's going to descend iceberg alley. Shipping is going to be affected from this point forward. These next three to four weeks, you're going to hear about a lot of icebergs in the shipping lanes. 48 degrees north latitude and below, like 47 degrees, 46. Further down into the shipping lanes, this is where the ice is projected to start pushing right now. As we look back, May 8th, 2018, last week, there were 107 icebergs that have drifted that far south. But you got to remember, the iceberg season this year is late. Comparatively to 368 icebergs that drift by the end of May. Now jumping over to Canada, iceberg, Newfoundland and Labrador, taking a look at the size of the icebergs that are starting to be out in Iceberg Alley for you to go take a look at if you're going to go up there for tourism. I don't know if these are stock shots or if these are actual icebergs that are there right this second that you can view. But flying overhead shows you the different angle and the amount of ice. Clearly visible icebergs, but then off on the horizon, Hard to tell if that's still icy in coastline or if that's ice that's breaking off, forming icebergs there on the horizon. And speaking of icebergs, I had to drop this in. How an iceberg could ease Cape Town, South Africa's water crisis. That's Table Mountain in the background. What they want to do is bring an iceberg up from Antarctica, park it offshore, literally on the west coast and then they go out and they mine it and then bring the water back in here into Cape Town. This is about how big the iceberg needs to be year upon year so then you get about a 500 meter by 500 meter iceberg and drag it up to South Africa every single year so they can have water. Thanks for watching hope you got something out of the video we are indeed entering strange times. Ice, volcanoes, floods, cosmic rays, grand solar minimum, the sun affects our climate in 400 year patterns or even multiples of 400 going back into the multi-millennia cycles. This video has been brought to you by Hemp Lucid CBD oil for your mind, body, and spirit. I encourage you to do some research on CBD oil. How can it benefit your lifestyle? And use the code ADAPT to take 20% off your next purchase. And all the links to everything I discussed is in the description box below along with links to Hemp Lucid.